welcome to my channel in this episode we will learn the python implementation of one dimensional second order wave equation in the previous episode we have learned how to convert the one dimensional second order continuum wave equation into a finite difference form the previous video is a prerequisite for this episode and the link of that video uh, is given in the description and i button please go through it now consider the second order one dimensional equation which is d2 u dt2 v square d2 u dx2 where x u is a function of x and y and this is subject to the initial condition which is u x comma 0 that means for t equals to 0 which is i x for all points and d u dt x comma 0 that is gx for t equals to 0 for all points which is gx uh, which is given and x equals to 0 u 0 comma t for all time which is 0 at x equals to l u l t other end which is also 0. First we study this sort of um, Gaussian kind of thing which is initial condition i 0 is say i 0 uh, is e to the power minus k x minus x naught whole square that means you just uh, for visualization purpose you think of a any string of any guitar or any musical instrument at certain point say x naught you just pluck it the the nature of the plucking is gaussian thing and let us study how the pulse will propagate through the string and here du dt is zero uh, for this particular problem and later problem you can use any value uh, the, pro the, the, the program implementation will be general one. Now first we study the anatomy of the program. Um, what will be the next we will run each block and complete program. First we study the anatomy. Uh, which is uh, first you have to import all the necessary libraries numpy for um, import numpy as np uh, for, uh, for numpy array and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and this is important libraries first you have to define the parameters say l equals to 10 unit x naught equals to say 5 unit k is 10 unit that end time final time is 25 unit and velocity is say 1 unit first you have to create a grid these are the parameters grid creation that is x comma dx which is np dot lin space say 0 to l say 1001 points will be created and return step is true that means dx will be declared from here and similarly for time space 0 to tf and 4001 points similarly and you have to pre I, I have print the dx i have printed the dx and dt for sake of convenience and understanding and now you have to compute the current number which is r equals to v dt by dx uh, which is um, should be less than uh, 1 and i have computed the r square that r square will be used in our recurrence relation so that's why i have cr created a, another variable c which is uh, r square and print r for your convenience and next uh, block is uh, you have to define in some function which is a gaussian plucking say i not function of x which is u and this exponential kind this um, this gaussian kind of thing that is np exponential minus k of this thing and it will return u another initial condition gx in this case this is zero which is which will return zero and these are the initial conditions and then you have to define uh, some array uh, for storing uh, the values of x and t uh, at different u values of u in different x and t which is this u uh, is a two dimensional array which is uh, having dimension length of the x array and length of the t array and over which you are the finite difference grid is created here now uh, we have to assign uh, the boundary conditions uh, that means u at 0 uh, for all time which is 0 that means this boundary condition 0 comma t is 0 and at the other end of the u array that is u minus 1 colon uh, comma colon which is for all time that is also 0 and for t equals to 0 for all x that means colon comma t equals to 0 which is i 0 x which is the uh, initial plucking of the uh, string which is the Gaussian in this uh, which is defined in the functions as discussed in the previous slide. Now uh, it, this is our main recurrence relation from 
main that um, this is our main recur recurrence relation uh, and these two are the rather these two are the main recurrence relation and th the first equation will be used for the time level from 0 to 1 and after that when you reach the time level 1 and after that um, subsequent time instant after subsequent time instant we will use this equation uh, from uh, 1 to the rest of the time steps. Um, and this is already discussed I just am translating this equation into in a Python for xx in range from 1 to length length of the x vector minus 1 because we will not hit the uh, either boundaries that means because they are that that is that are stationary and u x x just straightforward translation u i 1 that means x x 1 uh, 0.5 r square is c uh, u i plus 1 that means x x plus 1 at time level 0 twice 1 minus r square is here c u uh, i 0 that means i means x x and 0 and c u uh, i minus 1 u uh, that means x x minus 1 0 uh, and uh, and this thing that should be that should be the plus one that should be the plus one here I'm forget to minus it's not a minus but because in this case it is zero so that's why it doesn't matter at all it should be plus uh, well and uh, the next part of the equation is there uh, which is um, u i t plus one that means for all t and all x for t t in range from one to length of the t vector minus 1 because already the first 0 to 1 has been utilized for one instant so rest of the vector is length t minus 1 for xx in range 1 to this is the same logic for therefore I am just uh, straightforwardly translating these things u xx uh, comma t t plus 1 that means t plus 1 r square u t uh, x i minus 1 that means x x plus 1 that is t and twice of that thing u i t u x x t t and r square u x x minus 1 t t and minus u i x x t t minus 1 and there should be plus but in this case g is 0 so it will not affecting our program and uh, the rest part is for plotting we will discuss while doing the program and this is straightforward plotting that means for t in range 0 to length whole time length say at the step size is 350 not all points all time steps will not be plotted for certain gap so therefore plt dot plot x for all x point colon comma t for time instant these time steps this is this is the slicing and it will be uh, straightforward and we will discuss in the uh, programming while doing the programming and we will vary the uh, time step and all that things and you can change the line style line width level and many things you can do this is the basic uh, anatomy of the program now just uh, our aim is to implement that uh, code first uh, importing leave I am not discussing and this part is the parameter and just run it and that is dx here the uh, dx is basically uh, for your understanding this is dx dt is something I'm just run the program and this is your r r is um, uh, basically less than lesser or less than one that means you can you get a stable solution here dx dt is dx is 0 0.01 and dt is this uh, something like that you can change that values this is the parameter already discuss how to that now I introduce the Gaussian plug that is defined I0x you this this thing and this is a Gaussian kind of thing and and dev gx is 0 here so return 0 and this thing I just run it and successfully run now I define the two-dimensional array which is the based on length of x and length and t I run this part which is 0 is initialized and you can check it for uh, new equals to 0 and um, this will be a very large vector is a of com dot 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 that means a large vector and it's uh, initialized with 0 and now uh, you can um, uh, boundary condition 0 I am um, colon co comma colon uh, which is 0 and minus 1 0 and u colon comma 0 is i 0 x and you just uh, if you run this code well and if you plot that thing uh, that means the zero at time 
at zero at time it is a gaussian but in the level one there will be all should be initialized with zero so just to check that if you plot the um, x zero at t equals to zero for all x point that is at the middle point that is uh, gaussian and after that it falls and all point zero but if you run that at time level one and uh, then it should it should be a flat line that should be a flat line for all subsequent points say the point is 100 time step uh, that should definitely vanish and only the uh, 0th level is initialized with the Gaussian that means our boundaries are perfect now uh, we have to initialize the program uh, that means from 0th level to t equals to 1 level use that reconnaissance relation already discussed uxx at time level 1 that will be 0 0.05 multiplied by this c into uxx plus 1 comma 0 0 at time this is known 2 into 1 minus c star multiplied by uxx 0 uxx 0 is also known from the initial condition or boundary conditions and c uxx minus 1 plus 0 and this should be plus 1 and if we run this and you will get something like that and if you print it out what happens to this is something like that it's a huge array kind of thing and all that and I'm just not just discussing and you just play with these things and plotting different kinds of things here different values different ranges now the main loop for TT time TT means time in range from 1 to length of the t vector minus 1 because 0 to 1 level has already been achieved now we have to go from 1 to length of the t vector minus 1 that is the range of time over which we are calculating and xx the space grid is in the range 1 to length minus 1 because because 1 because the both ends are excluded because these are the constant or stationary in this case and you straightforwardly implemented the recurrence relation already discussed in the previous video as well as this video and the whole thing closed here now i am just make it very simple program not making it a complex program so uh, plot t in range 0 to length of the t vector from 0 to t in the uh, in the gapping or spacing 850 plt plot along the x axis this is x this is x and and along the y-axis this is u and here you can level it plt dot x level which is uh, plt dot x level is equals to x and plt dot y level which is u which is function of x t now you run this sorry this should be y level this should be okay and this should be the x level making this thing okay and this is your x level and this is your y level and and this is your initial t equals to zero the gaussian pulse and after that uh, it just propagates and it reflects back and reflects and it goes downwards and here it merges and go back to the initial i have already uploaded the simulation and you can play with this time instant with different time and you will get the peculiar uh, pe not peculiar but very interesting um, simulation of the wave propagation and you can do many you can change the initial con initial condition in different way and you can uh, get the get it solved wave equation